Hi everyone. Hi everybody. So in today's video, we are going to be doing something different. We are thinking about starting a series of swatching the entire CMD collection according to their chart mm -hmm. for easy referencing in the future. And next year we're going to redo it because as the new colors are coming, <laughs> so we have job guaranteed forever. Anyway, so please let us know what you think. And we might actually do something different. So what we might do, or we're planning on doing in this video, is um, doing each nail separately, meaning do two coats of this, two coats of this, two coats of this. So it's just easier to later on reference the colors. It's a little bit, what would I say, more challenging time when it comes to filming, but let us know if that makes a big difference or not, okay? So this is this kind of a pilot video, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let us know about this idea. Anyway, so without further delay, uh, we present you with Cream Puff. Present you with? Mm -hmm. oh. White Wedding. Lady Lily. Studio White. Bouquet. Naked Navette. Satin slippers, mover and shaker, ice bar, and negligee. And we're going to swatch these Isn't colors. It like Nevite or something? Nevite, like that? yeah, probably. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Something along those lines. Yeah. So, okay, so we're going to swatch the colors on these challenging nails that have been prepped and ready to go. All right, so cream puff. So I must say from the very beginning that the new brushes make a huge difference in the application. So I still have a lot of the stock with old brushes and I wish seeing these sold. The um, brushes separately. So with this color, of course there is a fluff. So with this color, you have to make sure you apply this very, very thin. And I'll show you how to get the fluff out. Or not. This is not a good beginning for this video. All right. So very quickly, we're going to cure it. And the reason why you want to cure it, uh, sorry, the reason why you want to apply it very thin is because if the application, it's a very pigmented color, and if the application is too thick, you might get wrinkles, especially if you're curing it in the, the traditional UV lamp. It's a good coverage in two coats. I never have issues with this color. Mm -hmm. Next, we have White Wedding. And this one is a semi-sheer color. And compared to Studio White, this one is more sheer than Studio White. Oh. It can be a little challenging on, on certain nails. Like mine. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the, the other, the new brush would make things easier to apply. Okay. Okay, so here's the second coat. Decent, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so next one is Lady Lily. And it's interesting because the chart, I believe, I haven't looked now, but in the past, the chart was showing this as a semi-sheer. And it's not a semi-sheer. It's a little bit warmer, tiny bit warmer than the uh, Cream Puff. And I find, and it's not just me, I've heard it from a few people, that the application of this one is easier and better 
then the studio white as well of course we have fluffs So you can see that this one is slightly warmer compared to, but it's very, very small difference. I don't really don't see a huge difference between these two. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit cooler. The Studio White, uh, sorry, the uh, Cream Puff. This one's a little puff. bit whiter. This one? That this one. one. Just yeah. by like a smidge. I think yeah. it's the best way I can describe it. But yeah, I guess this is a bit of a, like a warmer tone. Okay, fully cure. Okay, so <clears throat> the fourth one is the Studio White, which is going to be like in between these two so to be honest with you <laughs> i find this one sometimes a little challenging to apply it's got like a purple or pink kind of shade to yeah it. it has a slight pink pink maybe yeah. in the bottle you can see it right especially mm -hmm. well you can even see it on the neck of the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the yes yes okay so on the nails that are ridgy, it's a little bit more difficult to apply. Now the second coat. Now the second coat. Hmm. Yeah, and that's how I kind of usually get it. It's not perfect. Okay, full liqueur. Okay, so now we're going to show you bouquet, and this is one of my favorite colors. How's that brush? The brush is the old brush, but it's a sheer pink that's absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. It goes on very, very evenly. I would say even on uneven nails. We'll put it looks good. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Like it's not going to cover the ridges that are there, but it's going to, it's not going to make them worse. Second coat. I actually have I think like three backup bottles of this. This is how much I love this color. Because for a while I thought it was discontinued. Mm. It's beautiful. Mm. Okay, full liqueur. Okay, so the sixth color would be the Naked Nevet. Nevete, I don't know, whatever. We we tried to figure Nevete. out how, how to pronounce it, but we don't know. We went on Google and that just made it even worse, I yeah. think. Now we're confused. Okay, so this color, to be honest with you, oh my God, to be honest with you, um is a nice color but it's not the easiest to apply it's kind of like a peachy tone right? yeah it's a kind of peachy mm. can you make me a liar i think the brush made it this is a new bottle <laughs> much better fantastic <clears throat> So yes, in the past with the other brush, especially, this was difficult to apply in perfectly in two coats. So I kind of didn't really use it much, but the brush seems to be- Makes a difference. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's it's good. It's not bad. On to the next. On to the next, satin slippers. This is one of the newer colors. And I think it's, it's a, a popular sheer, color, huh? Yes, it's a sheer color. It's a little bit more peachy. It's very similar to to bouquet, but it's a little bit more peachy. It's a little bit warmer. It also has a very, very good application. Very good formula, yeah. 
Very good. These brushes make make everything so much better. Yeah, so one thing that we're foreseeing slight issues that we don't have some of the colors and they are not very available um, for purchase here in Spain. Powder My Nose is one of the colors that I don't have and I have pretty much all of them. Okay, pull the cure. All right, so the next one is Mover and Shaker and that's one of the newer collection. You see how nice this one looks? Very good. Mm -hmm. so Mover and Shaker, I think it's similar to the... Uh, Naked Nevet. Nevete. Nevete. But this one is a little bit I easier to apply. To naked mole rat. Oh my god. Considering that this color covered Mount Ridgemore, that indicates a very good formula. Agreed. Cure. All right, so the next one is Ice Bar, and this is a sheer kind of a glittery color. You can apply it over other colors to, to change the, the look of them. So it has to help in the hands. Mm -hmm. So it has like this pink magenta um, glitter in it. I think it would look great over. It has a base of like a blue. So sometimes you can change the color. I think over darker would, would be nicer. There's that too. Mm -hmm. And I think over other colors, you can apply one very, very thin coat, which is not going to add thickness. Mm -hmm. I think we've done that before and it's uh, mm -hmm. turned out quite well. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, and the, ne the last color is Negligé. It's an awesome, awesome color. One of your favorite ones, I believe. It used to be until to be. they came out with Bouquet. Because this one has a very beautiful, beautiful base like a light pink, it never goes streaky, but it has that blue flash that does not look good on everyone. But as you can see, it goes on really, really nicely. Mm -hmm. This is also a perfect color for under French, for under the white, or even over the white sometimes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Not a streak in sight. Which is impressive. Yeah. Okay, cure. Okay, so these are all the colors. Let's just look at them again. I really don't see a big difference between these two. I do say a, a difference between these two. I really like this one. This one, mm -hmm. I find that it's challenging. Um, I love this color. I love this color. Let's just compare them. Not a big difference but this one does not have the flash the bouquet does not have the flash right. and then let's just compare these the bouquet to the satin slippers mm -hmm. the satin slippers is warmer very similar right? yeah and all these sheer colors you can use for underneath french in one coat i would say mm -hmm. right these two are very uh... yes and these two are very similar although i have to say that this one has a better formula usually although with this one with the brush it's not bad at all right i'm shocked Okay, so this kind of um, is it for today's video. And you know what? Please let us know what you think about this video because we did it in a different format. And I have to say, after doing this video, we found it challenging mm. because we stopped for a minute to cure the gel, which kind of disrupts the whole flow of the video. So it's kind of like we feel a little odd. Disrupted. Disrupted. So let us know if you prefer the original video we actually will repeat this video in our old style so this is coming next right yes and then please vote 
which video you prefer, yeah. which format, because we're not going to do the whole collection and then redo the whole collection. No. Absolutely but we want to do the whole collection. So, Alrighty, so this is it for today. And we hope you found it helpful in choosing the colors. Let us know which ones are your favorites and what you think about this video. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Ciao.